Hi, so I have been working on this check this week. And here it is. I changed a few things on this design. The first thing is that I wanted to use a pins for hinging. And I went to the store and wanted to buy a reamer. And when he said the cost of it, I was like, okay, well, I'm sure there will be another way to make this happen. And sure it is. At first I was quite skeptical because, well, you see, I am using regular bolts and locking nuts. The problem with bolts and nuts is that they are not perfectly straight and what I was expected to happen is that when I close this, this will, there will be a play basically there. But it seems that there isn't any noticeable at least. Let me grab something here and let's try this. So I'm holding this also I'm not sure how I am going to retain this in locked in locked position but there's this nut and am I unscrewing it? Yes. So I was thinking about this that I will tighten this down and it's there pretty solid basically nah. but yeah some silicone coating on these pins will be absolutely good but yeah I'm quite happy with this also, this check is not, not adjusted right now. I have this piece that will go on this shaft and it will hold this concentric. Right now I have motor disassembled because I'm changing the stator. Also, I bought, I bought this thing. Oh, you can see it. Okay, sorry. And this is for moving the spindle assembly, basically. And I am thinking that what I will do is drill holes from this side and I will have pinion there so, so I can get some aluminum scrap and basically make this thing and I will hold pinion on this plate and therefore I will be able to to move it. Also you can see that I have decided to use teeth profile there. First I was thinking about some ratcheting mechanism that will go like this basically and you will tighten it and it will retain its position and then some lever to pull this thing off but that would require fairly fairly fine tooth size basically and I was testing it by making this thing this is module one this little piece this was just a test how the profile will look like and stuff like that it's pretty terrible basically and this is module one and a half or 1.5 and it works quite well also you can see that I am using regular bearings here but they seem to hold quite well also if you well I guess this is this is a lot this. if you tighten this the this ring which is held by these bearings or its center position is held by these bearings it basically aligns itself so there should not be very big force also since we are not using ground pins especially at this point because this is this is defining basically the position of this thing you can see that I can move it maybe you can see it 
but it can move basically in this direction towards and off from the center and that's okay the problem would be if this will move basically in angle to the base plate well that would mean that you will hold this tube and this side will be fixed and there will be quite a lot of play to eliminate that fucking hell to eliminate that you will have to tighten this bolt or you will have to tighten this nut quite a lot I mean quite a lot it have to be free to move or to allow movement of this part there but it has to keep it flat I was thinking about some Teflon spacers at well right now I have not there and I was thinking about some Teflon spacers that will provide low friction but they are soft so it will be able to bend and that's not good but yeah I'm quite happy basically if I can show you I'm holding this well what's that 40 millimeters and I am still able to well that's about one and a half no one and a quarter of an inch and I'm still able to move that basically uh, well also there is no nut basically because this is held by this screw and it has quite a bit of play but it's doing the job basically and as long as this will not come off this ring will also not come off so that's why I have plain, bear plain bearings there basically basically everything here the diameters length and so on is not changed from my original design the only thing I changed is that I am using spur gear on the back plate or spur gear as a back plate and pinion to actuate these arms basically maybe I can put some glass into the jaws I have only this piece left right now so it's sitting there quite a long time basically but yeah nope mm. okay so yeah it can handle some torque well that silicone coating will help a lot and now it's gooey because there's some what I put there fucking glycerol glycerol or <laughs> glycerol or something also I can yeah I can pull it off ah. also can take some force oh fucking hell oh yeah this is about the size and that is 70 millimeters diameter minimum diameter on the other side is about 8 millimeters I think well this is 6 millimeter bolt and I can hold it there and what about 5 millimeter yep this is four millimeters I believe and this nail here is 2.9 millimeters and nope from the inside you can probably hold whatever you want maybe even this this beaker if it wasn't crooked of course what about this thing can I Oh yes I can, but also is a little bit crooked. Wow, I can see that it was twisted right there. 
Aqui no centro. Hmm. You can see it right there. It's like twisted. Holy fuck. You see? Right there. <laughs> Impressive. And that's why you have to, uh, you want to have synchronized spindles. Because if, if one is turning a little bit, a little bit faster than the second one, it will twist the glass basically. Oh yeah, and I forgot to make my point there. Um, because I changed my mind and I'm not using pins there. This material does not have to be so thick. Right now it's about 10 millimeters, so it's about 3 eighths of an inch. I would, uh, well, maybe. So making this from thinner material will reduce cost quite considerably. For example, this can be 2 millimeters. This I would keep at least 6. So, because it has to be quite stiff. This outer ring. Mm, three millimeters and this spur gear basically I would leave it about the same maybe eight millimeters instead of ten maybe even six would be okay well I guess it will take some time until I build the opposite side static spindle and until then I guess I will make videos of other projects that I currently have or currently don't have. Yeah, so until next time.